What's up guys? Brad from Glad Hill Customs. So I've been asked over and over and over and over and over again um, what it is I'm doing to my Glock triggers um, that I'm getting them down to the two and a half pound range um, all OEM. So I uh, figured make a video, you know, so there's been a bunch of people asking about it. So I've got just a standard 19. Okay, Gen 4, beautiful gun. A um, lot of fun to shoot, but as we all know, it's got a rough trigger on it. They're, they come standard, um, five and a half, somewhere around there. So um, I've got my Lyman's trigger pull meter, and I'm gonna do a quick pull test on this, um, and then we'll see where we're at for sure. And then um, I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step, kind of what it is that that I'm doing to them, um, and then we'll see where we end up with the, the pull weight on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap around. I'm gonna get the camera swapped over to a different angle, and we'll do our first pull test on it, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so as you see here, just standard clock. Okay, so this is Clear it. We'll get in and see where it's at. Five. I usually go five times and then average it out. dead basically 5.8 pounds all right let's see what we can do with it okay so I went ahead and I put my armor's plate on um, very very important tool to have in this industry you've got to be able to see what you have going on inside of here so um, the first thing I'm gonna do so we know that that come in at, at just about 5.8 pounds okay so um, the first thing, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in here, I'm going to do my best. So you can see your trigger connector right there, okay? So once I pull that trigger, okay, you're going to be able to see your trigger bar, and the lighting's just not right in here. You should be able to see your trigger bar move see it right there just barely moving across that connector I know the lighting's horrible so you really can't see but so that excess hangover on that uh, connector spring with your trigger bar is what gives you your break as you're releasing your trigger see that travel there boom and that break when it clicks that's actually the trigger bar popping off of that connector down into place and allowing you to fire it again. So we need to, in order to clean up the, that reset, we need to remove that excess um, material of the trigger bar that kind of hangs over that. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't break this down really quick and get a better view of what's going on for you guys. So, trigger's been pulled, okay, pull that spring, okay, so now you can see, kinda, let me get a better angle, okay, you can see that trigger bar where it overlaps on that spring, on that, pardon me, not the spring, but the connector. So, as that's going back forward, then it resets, okay? So, the goal is to remove enough of that overlap, whoops, 
Let me grab a pointer. We need to remove some of this material right here where it overlaps. Okay, you don't want to pull too much off of it, but as you can see, there's about a 30 second probably or so of material there that, that can be removed. That way, as you go to reset your trigger, it's a lot shorter than what it is from the factory. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that broke down. We'll get this pulled out and we'll start pulling some material off of there. Another thing that we're gonna do is once we start changing the angle of the, um, the components here in this trigger, we're gonna have to also reshape your fin that runs along the top here. These ones on these Gen 4s are actually shaped pretty decent, um, but I, I take and kind of clean it up a bit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it broke down and we'll go to the next step. Okay, got it all out as you can see. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to reshape this piece right here. So just a slight amount of material needs to come off of the last little bit of this trigger bar here. Remember, because as that slides past, let's see. Get it to where you can see. So that's setting like that, and then it drops back in okay we just need a little bit of that pulled off so Remember, you want to be careful that you don't take too much off of it because you can cause issues with the trigger itself not working again. Should be enough. Now, I'm gonna take some a 400 grit drum, and I'm just gonna polish everything that we just cut there, as well as while I'm going, I'm gonna polish the rest of in here. Now this process is kind of hard on these drums. Um, not really designed for <laughs> sharp edges and that kind of shit, but, but you don't want to leave any mess on there. You want it to be nice and smooth. And like I said, I even get these edges like that. Okay, so see how that's nice and Shiny again, there's no rough spots on it. I'll make a little bit right there. Okay. Okay, now when it comes to the connector, you gotta be dang careful. As, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of material there to mess with. So 
when I do it, I don't even hit it with the diamond bit. I just use the 400 grit paper. And you wanna make sure you keep it nice and flat as you're running across there. See, and that's probably 20. Okay. And then I take and polish the other surfaces on it. Or the trigger bar itself actually rides. So. Get up underneath the hand. Okay, now you'll notice on this fin there's sharp, oops, maybe. There's sharp edges, and it's just rough cut. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that out just a bit and kind of take that hump or whatever out. Um, and then I'm gonna just kind of round everything up nice. same with the 400 grit and just smooth it up. Anytime you got metal on metal contact you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and, you know you, you want to get all of the, the rough marks and stuff out of it and just kind of leave it nice and polished. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get it put back together and get it installed and we'll do another pull test on it. Okay, got her all back in. Definitely feels a little better. I still got quite a bit there though. I can still go just a hair more on this. Let's see where it's at. of 3.3 okay so that's not quite as low like I said it's still just a little bit more but it's rather to it's better to not take enough 
than it is to take too much because there's no going back. So um, that's a basic rundown though of everything. I'm gonna break this back apart, take a little more off of there, um, get it cleaned up a bit. See, you can see there's still just a little bit left in there of that trigger bar I need to clean out. But that's it, that's what we do um, here at Gledhill Customs. As far as the trigger work goes, um, it makes it crisp, clean, and a lot of fun. Way better than the 5.8. I mean, shit, we've already dropped two, a full two pounds, or over two pounds off of it. Um, I'm gonna keep working it a little by little, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, thanks for watching.